Alright, hey there everyone, it's Johnny Akidog here, and today is a good, beautiful Easter Sunday afternoon. Still, actually it's still morning for me, but it's close enough to the afternoon. And today is a good day to start off with some Flash tutorials. So, let's begin and kickstart this off now. Before I say anything about the tutorials, before we get into anything, I just want to thank each and every one of my subscribers for. Sorry, I was messing with my microphone over there. I just want to also say before we get started that I want to thank every one of my subscribers for pushing me to actually do this stuff and for everyone that has asked me to do this. And people who have been there since the beginning of my channel know I used to do them, but I, I took them down because I didn't really like how I went with them. But now I'm bringing them back. I'm gonna start them brand new with a fresh new start. And then I also want to thank my subscribers. I uploaded a video about three days ago. Um, yeah, three days ago. And you guys, apparently, you loved my stuff. I got 13 more subscribers in a day, and it wasn't it? W it was just a little less than a month ago. I, I had just passed the 400 mark, and I am now getting up to 500, so I just want to thank all the people who watch and love my stuff. So with that, let's get started now. What we're going to do is open up Flash. I already have everything open, so we can go ahead and get this done and get it good. and won't have to wait. As you can see, Flash is here. I'm going to go through the tools and such, and first, we're going to create new and Flash document. Here we go. This should be your default stuff. Um, 12 FPS frame rate, background white, 550 by 400. This should all be your default stuff. Now, let's take a look at the toolbar and stuff. We got the selection tool, obvious. The free transform tool. Say we get a gradient tool, line tool, lasso tool, pen tool. Pen tool, I don't really understand all that much. I guess this is just for... We got the text tool. Pretty self-explanatory right there. We got the oval tool. Uh, rectangle tool. The polystar tool. Huh, that's pretty nifty. I've never used this tool before. Whoa. It's actually kind of fun. Anyway. Got the pencil tool, pretty also self-explanatory. This is what I use to, you know, do my artwork and my flashes. This looks like garbage now because I haven't really. I don't have my tablet with me right now, so yeah, it's no good. Um, brush tool, another tool I was sometimes used to, you know, do my drawings. Looks like garbage right now because I'm not trying. Anyway, um, we've got the ink bottle, which it does, which if you got pencil line tool, that just pretty much changes the pencil line and such. Let's get rid of this. And then we got the paint bucket tool. Basically what you do is you do your stuff with your brush, your paint bucket, change the color, boom, or oh, boom, there you go. Paint bucket's also used for coloring and stuff. Let's get rid of this. Oh yeah, no, the pencil tool goes for the pencil, obviously, and the bucket goes for the brush, and likewise for these. We got the looks like color tool, pretty, also self-explanatory. Eraser tool, also self-explanatory. And now what we got up here is the timeline, our library, their color library, color mixer, color swatches, properties, filters, parameters. I don't really use parameters, I don't even know why I've got it open, I'm actually going to close that right now. Filters we'll get to later, properties, we can get to this at any time. The properties for the stage are different for properties you'd have for like a symbol and stuff, but we'll get into the symbols and stuff later. Got our keyframes, got our layers, and we'll get into the rest of this later. That was a pretty much quick brief summary of what, of what is in Flash. Before we get into anything else in Flash, I'm going to talk about programs you can use to import sprites into Flash. As you can see, I've got like multiple things open here. I've got Paint, uh, Paint.net, 
Gimp, and Fireworks. All of these can be used to import sprites. Whichever one you use is your personal preference. Let's start with the one I like the least, Fireworks. That might sound strange for some of you people, or even sound strange to some animators I know who always use Fireworks. But I have a long, understandable hate for Fireworks, because this is what caused Episode 4 to take so freaking long to upload. It was Fireworks and Flash wanting to be stupid and keep corrupting my files. Let's get this out of the way. Go get your wand tool, click background, and then click right click, select similar. There we go, we... There we go, it highlights everything that's this color. Say I want to do the green of Sonic's eye. Right click, select similar. All the green Sonic eyes are now highlighted, if you do for us. But just because personal preference, also I'll change the tolerance down to zero. Let's do this here again. Select similar, and you see it gets in between. Hit delete. There we go, it's transparent. Good for us. Transparency can be a big thing for people because you don't have to worry about tracing bitmap a lot of the times and it uh, lowers your file size a good bit too so let's say we get uh, d -d 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 these here poses here this here sonic idol wait our copy right click or copy and as you can see it's control C to copy go to flash hit the little control V button there we go we, we, we got these we got this what is this Apparently it's the symbol one. Why is that? The reason I hate fireworks. It's stupid and puts things into symbols and I hate it. There is a way to go around this. You have to hit control I. Wait, no. Control. What is that set to? Import. I don't have it set to anything. But I believe by default it should be control R. So import to stage or I think it's possibly import to library. We'll see. You go find your and find yourself uh, a PNG. And there you go. It's it's in there. Delete it. Now do your little copy, and you paste, and then you go. It it solves that problem. But to me, to do that every time you open up to do Flash with fireworks, it's tedious and stupid and a waste of time. So that's why I don't use fireworks, and that's basically all you do with fireworks. Let's get out of this grotesque creature. Next, what we're going to do is talk about another program that I really don't like to use for importing sprites, paint.net. Uh, basically, you do your same thing. Go to your magic wand tool, change the tolerance down to zero, change the flood mode to uh, global, click a bit slower okay there we go zoom in and then there you go it's all highlighted you don't need to do a select similar or anything press delete transparent congratulations and now let's uh, did take our little idle pose here and copy and paste and there you go and if I'm going too fast for you all, that's why this is a video. You can go back and watch it. So, yeah, that's all. Who is messaging me? Oh. Okay, there we go. They just got free promo in my tutorial. Um, see, look. Background's not transparent. Is transparent in this. Why isn't transparent in this? Well, you see, the reason for that is paint.net is stupid and it doesn't copy and paste the transparency, which is dumb and it's a reason I don't like it. So, what do you gotta do? You gotta go to the file, you gotta go to the save as, and then you just save it as dip 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 dab as your boo. There you go. And now it's saved as a transparent file. Let's go. I had Sonic Advance to PNG. Basically here what people will do is they'll like, they'll open it up in a separate program that does do transparency. Like GIMP or Fireworks. But we already know my take on Fireworks, so that's why 
I don't bother with paint.net because again it does makes you do stuff that's stupid and a waste of time and I hate it so I deleted that now what we're gonna do actually I'm gonna save this file so we don't not supposed to see some of those files but uh, let's make a new folder here tutorial one I'm probably gonna actually I'm probably gonna have um, some of the I'm actually gonna have like um, some of these labeled so you guys can download them and see your results and stuff I might put them up for download um, now and don't ask me where to get the sprite sheets I'll post I'll have links to places where you can get these sheets so don't ask me for them ask me for them you will not get answered and don't ask me where I get my sound effects and music either I will post if you ask me where my sound effect I get my sound effects I will post you a link straight to Google